extra, extra, read all about it. Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here is your oracle card spread, and that is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So it's definitely for uh, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or whatever Sagittarius energy influences your chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. I'm, I don't put dates on the videos anymore but there is a new video every single week for Sagittarius. So if you want it fresh off the press, subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow and you'll be able to ring the notification bell so that you know right when I upload the content that you care about the most. Um, uh, and then there's always an extended reading. So if you want a more in-depth, personalized uh, reading with more specifics and details, um, then do grab that extended, the link is below. It's a full tarot card spread and it includes a love romance reading. I'm also going to put a link above um, to my romantic tarot. It'll give you a little bit of insight into romance and love and what you and your partner could be experiencing as well. So let's get into it, Sagittarius. This is your energy for this week, happy full moon, by the way, as I record this, this is a beautiful full moon, full moon in Libra, which happens at uh, 1035, I think 1035 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So Sagittarius, I hope that you get to see that because it's supposed to be quite a spectacle, a huge, super pink moon, which is just something that can inspire us like that gorgeous, mystical light in the dark to inspire us in a time and a situation that feels a little bit helpless. Uh, we have crowning energy here. Okay, wait. Watch your words. Nope, you're not watching what you say. You're full steam ahead, but you feel locked away. It's almost like maybe feeling locked away or pent up or oppressed is making you more uh, likely to pop off at people and then be loyal to what you love. Nope, disloyalty. It's almost like, um, you know, the gauntlet is down. Um, all like, like, so you've like thrown the glove and psh, like, like, the, like, you're ready for war almost not not war it's 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 like the the gloves are off the gloves are off and you don't care what you say and and you just um are on the defensive really feeling like uh kind of punchy and um i think not like punchy and not safe so this is the energy crowning your reading a sense of this is disloyalty this is being stuck being stuck within a disloyal situation or being stuck in a situation or a circumstance that you can't stand and you don't like or being stuck with somebody that it just keeps bitching and moaning and yapping and accusing and or talk coming out that was backstabbing it's like almost like something coming out that backstabbed you or that said something that wasn't supposed to be said somebody is betraying you and saying things or talking in ways that they were not supposed to say uh in in in, in ways that they talking about things that they were not supposed to talk about sharing information that um like 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 that they were supposed to hold on to um, and this is energy of being so angry, you don't know what to do about it. Uh, being held back, feeling bridled, being tr feeling trapped because maybe they pushed you up, feeling like pushed up against a wall. That's what it is. You're, 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 you're feeling threatened or pushed up against a wall, totally bridled. And I can't believe that they did that to me type of energy. And then we have take time out. Brown bear is in reverse and upside down feeling once again, betrayed, feeling attacked and feeling like there's nobody here to defend you feeling like there's no way for you to defend yourself or, um, like you've just sort of been left out on your own, feeling really exposed, extremely vulnerable energy here. Um, being like that unwatched baby bear that, you know, everything can attack now it's left wide open and almost maybe being the scapegoat in some ways for somebody else's bullshit. Like, why are they throwing me under the bus type of energy? That's what I'm getting right now, Sag. Ooh, hate dealing with that BS, hate it. Um, real, there is a sense of just feeling absolutely completely betrayed. How could you do this to me? Like, how could you, how, and it's through words. Something was spoken that was not supposed to be said. <sighs> By somebody close to you, somebody that you know. 
Um, all gloves are off, man. Time to collaborate. Somebody that you were working with, somebody that you cared about and trusted, somebody that was pretty close to home. This could also be having your work itself threatened or feeling like your work itself is now vulnerable. Maybe your job is laid vulnerable, made vulnerable because of this betrayal. Maybe, you know, somebody said something to you, released something over the internet, and now it's made you look bad in front of your boss, or this person is somebody that you worked with, and they're the ones now that, that your trust with them is broken. The partnership and the collaboration with the work that you were working on is now uh, threatened. It's now made vulnerable because this 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 per, this was the person you were depending on to work with and trust but now you can't trust them you know you can't somebody being shady this is the energy of eight so destiny something something designed by destiny something something that is still uncertain so what your fate is or what the, the outcome of 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 this will be is still undetermined so even though it looks like all is lost right now there is a sense of not being able to completely see very clearly either how it happened or what is going to come out of it. Uh, and then you have magic works through you. So, uh, five plus seven is the energy of seven. So something that you're putting together and creating, um, this is your central energy. This is Cancerian energy. So in and of itself, it could be very protective. Oh, also prone to hyper react when it gets defensive, defensive like um, in a way that it's, it, it, it can almost compromise itself with how defensive that it gets. So, or just to say that this hit very close to home, um, and, and, uh, this is coming from the home and domestic space, uh, or this is going to cause a great fallout in terms of, um, the fourth house, the energy of the, the, the fourth house. So home and family life. Um, interesting. I didn't even know these cards came on. This is your energy. Think on your feet, the energy of, uh, seven plus nine, having to improvise, the art of improvisation, uh, having to just go with the flow, being 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 laid bare and made vulnerable and not knowing anything else to do except to just make the best out of basically the shards and shrapnel that, that's left in front of you, figuring a way forward through a situation that you never wanted to be in, but now you find yourself having to like duck and weave and like, how do I get in this war zone? But that's the only way you can't, you can't predict it. You can't make plans. You have to just keep going, getting through this. Um, hmm. Surrender now. This is like being drawn to something like a moth to a flame. Just letting yourself be pulled directly into the explosion and letting it happen around you. In other words, the best way through is right into. It's like just dive bomb it. Um, you can't. You you can't escape this. It's good. It's good. Like the. It's gonna. It's. It's, or you have the feeling of just throwing your hands in the air and like letting everything explode around you because what can you do about it? This energy of being drawn to something without being able to resist it or them. Nine plus three is 12, adds up to three. That's Holy Trinity. To bring things back into balance, this is just about letting go and releasing any kind of control uh, that you thought you had over the situation, knowing that you don't. This is Sagittarius energy too. Make your dreams real. Five plus six is awakening. Um, maybe learning your strength and learning your own power, awakening to your own abilities, uh, or, or really having to pull something out of your ass and make something work sort of spontaneously. But this is, uh, could be very Scorpionic energy. This, um, feeling, feeling manip, no, stop. That's not what it is. I'm getting really frustrated right now. Hold on. So this is the energy of prioritizing your dreams and focusing so hard on it that that's the only thing left on your mind. At this point, it's almost like everything else has been laid bare and you've decided to just focus on what you can control and what you can handle. You could be like, you, you could be like getting together, but this would be uh, with, a, with your actual, with another partner. This is a partnership outside of what bought everything down and like trying to figure out or like decide how we move forward forward through this um after we deal with um after we accept and deal with this energy 
Hold on. Interesting. Really chaotic energy. A feeling of a little loss of control. Um, not feeling safe. Which is interesting. I don't know how often safety is something that is forefront on your mind or but it but it is now this may be a, i don't want to say blessing in disguise because it's too cliche and so much more energy is coming out hold on hold on um take a leap of faith this is also luck because grasshopper is the energy of luck so and you are dude oh, come on you're ruled by jupiter you you will eventually recover from this so basically just leap directly into the flames and go what wherever it is that you're whatever wherever your nose is pointing jump in that direction it's almost like what are you going to do if if the cliff everything is falling down around you and the cliff is exploding jump off of it where you will land you will land in a lucky place so like i said this could be cliche but sign Simultaneously, Sagittarius, this could be the blessing in disguise that you needed to push you off at just the right time. Because it's almost like, um, um, yeah, the universe may be privy to the timing that you're not privy to. So it's pushing you and catapulting you. And you feel like you're being just fed to the flames and you're going to spook your head. Um, but you're not. This is a sense of you will have a, a, a cushier landing than you assumed you would. Uh, then we have the truth transcends illusion, grounding energy, Aquarius energy coming out, being realized, being revealed, the truth being revealed, um, basically taking a leap of faith in the truth, um, thinking that maybe in some ways, um, almost like trying to like keep the truth to yourself. Um, but now you're, you're not willing to maybe combating this energy of somebody, um, combating this energy of somebody trying to say something or speaking against you or letting the truth out. Remember that scene from, um, I was going to say Green Mile, five, five Mile with Eminem, where he's in a rap battle. And the way that he wins it is he ends up making better fun of himself than the person that's trying to like, like smack, like, like smack him down type of thing. Like not, not beat him up, but like in this rap battle, it's like, he, he's trying to like, um, what is it called? Oh, I hate when I can't remember words. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. Um, but it's definitely he, like the, the guy is trying to put him down by rapping, right? And instead what he does is he puts himself down better than the guy can. And in, in doing so comes out on the other side victorious. Because there's nothing that the guy can say to insult him that he can't do better himself. And he ends up winning that way. So that's this kind of energy of just, okay, you want to say shit about me? I'm just going to lay everything bare. Everything is going to come out now. I'll tell you everything. I'm going to flood you and deluge you with the truth. Like, like trust in the truth because the truth is going to act actually serve as that cushion for you that will help protect you there's always enough there's an abundance in other words you're going to land in the water below if you jump off this cliff there's going to be a soft cushion here there is more than enough there's a lot of emotions emotions are running really high um uh, three plus six is nine so this is definitely coming some something coming to the surface so there is more in other words you know plenty about how whoever tried to uh, get at you by revealing all your sh all your shit, right? Um, you know a lot about this person and it was a stupid decision for them to do this to you because honestly, if you're gonna be like, okay, we're gonna tell the truth here, all the truth, all the truth that I know is now coming out and you're just so happy and ready to spew it all and let it all fly because, uh, because that's the only... That's the corner that you were backed into. That's the only, um, that's the only defense you have is, okay, let's just, let's get it all, like, let's, let's lay it bare. Let's get it out all onto the table. And it's, it's, it's going to be, the ball is going to be in your court, put back in your control. Um, you're going to take back control of the situation by just being completely and totally blatantly and painfully, brutally freaking honest. Grounding your energy is 
um, this and that are true. No, no more ambiguity, no more hanging out in the shallows. You're diving in deep and you're taking all that information from the deep and you're bringing it all up. You are not playing. This is usually a very playful energy. This is no, this is in reverse. It's you're not playing anymore. I'm not playing with you. I'm not putting up with the BS. I'm not, no, no, you, you want you want to throw down the gloves? I'll throw down the gloves too. Let's get real. And shit just got real, plain and simple. I don't think the person that you're dealing with understood who they were dealing with. Let's put it that way. And then we see, see the big picture, but it's in reverse. You're done with being gentle and you're done with trying to look out for what's best for everybody. Now you're just like just protecting and defending yourself, protecting and defending the people that are closest to you, making, making sure, oh, I'm sorry. Well, something just flew in my face. Making sure that your home is protected, that you are, that you are healthy and safe and cared for and you're just kind of done with any kind of energy that would threaten that this is really good like retali retaliation this this like whoever whoever this energy is or whoever this person is that messed with you was really stupid to do so i just don't think that they either knew that you knew all that you knew or that they thought you would even like like be able to retaliate because it's just like i i i, I it would crush you so bad or or uh, just assuming that they were so far ahead and they weren't that far ahead. This was a shallow perspective and a really stupid choice and decision uh, on their part, Sagittarius. And uh, the gauntlet, like I said, has been thrown down. The gloves are off and you're just going to come out. Uh, you're just going to come out punching. But what you're going to do is punch with the truth. You're going to punch with the facts. You're going to say, oh, you want to lay my ship bare? I'm going to lay your ship bare. Here it all is from beginning to end. And it's almost like now that's your defense because now nobody can ignore. It's like, it's like I'm bringing, <laughs> I know this sounds horrible. I'm bringing you all down with me. Like Thelma and Louise holding hands and driving off the cliff together. It's like you, you, you want to try to throw me off the cliff? Baby, let me tell you something. I'm taking you off with me, but I'm going to land cushy and soft because the truth is actually going to liberate me. How's it going to feel for you? Let me flip this energy. Let me, flip me, not from the energy around. Let me flip the cards around so that you can see the full spread. Hold on. So full spread and suddenly it started to make sense when the last cards dropped out. Um, making me realize that this cushy, cushy space, this truth like reveling in the truth, not hiding. In other words, don't hide from it because this crowning energy of feeling betrayed, of feeling like somebody like, did, done you wrong, just keep rolling with it. Just keep riding with it. Just surrender to it and let it take you. All right, if this is what you want to do for me, I'm, gonna, I'm going to act exactly how you have behaved. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you set the pace. This is how we are. This is where we are now. I'm just let's let, let's let it roll. Let's let it all come out. Um, and and really, um, sort of um, um, what whatever whatever was going to happen or, or uh, whatever was hidden is now being completely and totally just laid on the line. And and like everything, you're going to use. Like, it's like they, like, like I said, they, it's like they're trying to like, they open the floodgates on you, but they didn't know you were the fucking Hoover Dam. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you want to try to flood me? Here you go. Here's everything. Let's, let's do this. Um, let, let's go into the extended. I just want to get some more detailed information on how, like with, with tarot onto ex, like more details. That's what I want. I want more details and I want the outcome. See, I think I know the outcome. The outcome is you're going to be just freaking fine. Um, you may be all wet, but simultaneously you're not the one that's going to drown, but let's see what's, let's see what, what's in the tarot cards and then also get into your romance reading. Sagittarius, the link is below. I'll see you guys over there.